I've always liked the look of the Moon Eyes Bone Shaker. And recently, Time Rider released a new chassis for the Bone Shaker, and I wanted to give it a try. So I thought this was the ideal casting to do it on. I decided I didn't want to repaint it. I wanted to keep the original color and factory paint and the tampos on there. I was going to make a few small changes, and then I was going to throw the uh, new chassis on it and do a red line conversion. So there was an additional decal I wanted to put on the back, an additional uh, moon speed equipment decal that I had left over from some earlier decals that I printed. So I threw that behind the cab and I painted in the details in the bed there of the, of the bone shaker. And uh, on here, what I ended up doing, I didn't, I ended up using a white circle from a scrap of white decal paper first. And then I put this other clear decal over it uh, because I didn't do a, 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 a white toner decal. I just used, yeah, I created a standard decal on clear. So I think that turned out okay. And then I, you know, painted in some details, didn't do a whole lot to it. Once the details were painted on, I did give it a clear coat with Minwax to make it a little bit shinier than the factory issue. Um, you know, that, that wasn't a big deal. I did have to do, uh, make some changes to the interior to get it to fit the new chassis. Because what the new chassis does is it puts a different engine, it puts a standard radiator on it, um, and it drops the stance, which is great. It, it, it really, it rolls, but man, this thing is low when you're done with it. So I, naturally I was really anxious to use that base. I do put a link to uh, the, the free file on Thingiverse that Time Riders created. So that is in the video description if you want to give it a try yourself. I didn't want the chrome on the interior, so I threw that in super clean to strip it off. And then basically what happens is I cut, and you'll see it here in just a second. You notice I chopped the front half of that off before I stuck it in the super clean. So the original bone shaker engine and skull are already cut off of that. Now there you see the base. And I did hit that with flat black. Uh, just put chrome pipes on it and uh, chrome intake on the engine. And uh, just chrome headlights, you know, uh, chrome uh, uh, marker lights and headlights. Didn't do anything too fancy. I didn't want to get too carried away because that wasn't the goal of this build. I did have a little difficulty with the red line axles on the chassis. They probably aren't the ideal things to throw on there, or I should have uh, made some slight changes to that chassis so that I could just drop the axle in uh, as opposed to feeding it through the tubes that are already there. Uh, different kind of axles probably would have worked better if I had used it almost like standard axle tubes and then just chopped the axle in half and then used the stub axles to hold them in place. That probably would have worked better. But naturally, I didn't do that. <laughs> I, uh, I tried to do it the kind of standard way. So the axles, as you can see there, are slightly longer than I would like. Um, if I were to do this again, there are probably some small changes I would make. But this was an experiment to see how this base would work out and uh, to kind of just keep the stock look of the bone shaker. So there you see where it ended up. I have, you know, I did some detail in the bed. I detailed the tank in the back, um, but not a lot. You know, I kept it very straightforward. I did have to make some modifications also to the wheel section of the back so that interior piece would fit over the axle section that's in that resin printed base already. So it required a little modification. Uh, not a lot, but if you go to do it yourself, you'll see when you go to test fit it, uh, how it works. And then the screws I had originally fit on there, I'd use self-tapping screws. And then when I went to put it together, I realized that that was stupid. They were a little too short. So I swapped them out for these screws. And then off camera, I end up just painting these chrome screws black so that they just disappear into the base. 
But all in all, this was a, a fast build, a fun build. I absolutely love the stance on this thing. I'm going to do definitely do more of these with this chassis. Uh, again, I might make a few modifications to the chassis. I'll probably use different wheels. Uh, if I go to do another one, uh, since I've done this red line conversion, I'll probably try something else. So there you see where we started. And, you know, it's a good looking casting. But here's, you see, here you see where I ended up. And I think it looks meaner. It's obviously a lot more black to it. Um, there you see that additional decal in the back, the moon speed equipment decal. I thought that just added a little to it and uh, just went with chrome pipes. I didn't do any other detail of the engine itself other than the intake there you see up top. And I didn't change the color of the radiator. I just kept that thing black with a little chrome cap on the top. I, I kept it pretty clean is what I was after. So I hope you like this. I'm pretty darn happy with it myself. And again, this thing sits super low. I, I think it's a great look. So uh, again, if you'd like to give the base a try, I do have the link in the uh, description of the video. Thanks, Time Rider, for designing this base. And uh, everybody, I hope you like this video. Stay safe and healthy out there. Thanks to my Patreon members for all of their support. And uh, catch y'all in the next one.